Y'all, I'm down here working on the fish feeder and I threw some food out while I was doing it. And there's like, oh, y'all probably can't see me. I threw some food out while I was working on it and a literal 10 pound catfish just swam by, like a massive, and these are all channels too. There's two bass just chilling. Hey, buds. Oh, there he is, there he is. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh my God, oh my goodness, dude. That fish is massive. Oh my god, I can't even imagine hanging him on the fly rod. I had I had literally like a six pound catfish the other day, but he like towed my kayak around the lake. It was ridiculous. Had him on the fly rod in the kayak. Y'all might have saw that video. I don't know if I have it uploaded before I upload this. But I just like stockpile videos and then upload them. All right, y'all, I can make like a huge video on just my catfish, but um, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep wasting y'all's time. If y'all wanna see more catfish, tell me in the comments. Oh my goodness, there's a 10 pounder out there. If y'all wanna see more catfish, tell me in the comments and I'll do like some underwater GoPro videos of them when they're doing their like feeding frenzy thing and you know, cool stuff like that. I'll get out there and snorkel with them, whatever. Y'all just tell me down below. If y'all think that'd be a cool video, I'll do it. Boy, that's a, yeah, that's a male. All right, I just got down here at the pond. It turns out that the, uh, the feeders was just out the battery died so i'm gonna charge this battery and then i gotta come back down here because i'm gonna get two new aquarium pets today i'm gonna explain to you what the first one is but uh, the second one's kind of a surprise it's gonna come out of a tiny green though all right y'all i just got on the four wheeler we're gonna go get the first new tank pet y'all we have just uh i'm sure my hair looks totally stupid now anyway we just like totally motor crossed it down to the uh to the spot where we're gonna get our new pet at so i don't know y'all might have an idea of what it's gonna be i'm not gonna tell you yet but um uh, here's where we're gonna get him at this little wait can y'all see it this little tidy creek but hey let me turn the camera off me and one of my buddies came back here about a week ago. We had trouble finding some. Oh, I just saw one. There's one here. There he is. Okay, I'm gonna guess that y'all have all figured out what I'm gonna catch by now. Um, I'm just gonna tell you. So, we are gonna get a crowd at. And then when I get back to the house, I need to show y'all the sick new fish tank set up. No, 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 no. There's snail darters everywhere. I really want to catch one of those. Okay, we're gonna to try to catch one of those. I like extremely highly doubt that I can because they're really fast. All right, these snail darters are way too fast for me. So we caught one right here last week. a crowdad and he went to the muddy water. There's like three of them under this stick. There he is. Yeah, you gotta be careful. So this creek doesn't run fast enough to move the water that you stir up out. So, dang, that makes me sad. We probably walked past some already. Oh, I see one. I see one right there, right there, right there. Before, no, no, no. There we go, we missed him. What just happened? What the heck? I could just catch him in my hand, but I thought it would be less stress to let him just like back into this little bottle.
The water's like less than an inch deep right here. He couldn't have gone anywhere. Oh, there he is. I got him that time. Little guy in there. All right, sweet. We got a crawdad. I pulled a big, a big dome and walked all the way back and left the crawdad. I'm stupid. Okay, guys, I made it back to the four-wheeler. I got our new pet here. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm done making thumbnails now. I got my crawdad, I picked up my trash, because, you know, save the world. Roxy's here. I'm gonna... Okay, he's chilling now. He's cool. He's cool, he's cool. Okay. Hey, dang, baby. Dang, huh? All right. Yo, I had to hold him in my hand all the way back, because the, uh, the four-wheeler kind of made him, like, rattle around. So I just held him in my hand and drove back one handed, you know, whatever. So anyway, back home, we're about to take him to the tank. All right, anyway, let's get into this awesome like tank. Here we go. This is the new tank for the bluegill and the mosquito fish. There's my bluegill Ringo. Hi, buddy. This is, there's six mosquito fish in here. Here's one of them, little feather. Uh, there's the other five in the corner. There's one that's really massive. He's a lot. A huge one. He's coming out the back. You can probably see him. There's Ringo. They ate up all the food I put in there. But anyway, he's like, hey, buddy. Anyway, so we're gonna put this crawdad in the tank. Well, here's the crawdad tank. Put a light on so we can see. There it is. In all its glory. I'm calling this crawdad caverns. <laughs> he's got a cave he can go in there. He's got a cave over here. And you know he's got some sticks. Go. There he is. Okay, so like I said, I know that's kind of a small tank, but he will be moved into the 10 gallon very soon. There he goes. So there's our crawdad. I'm gonna, I think he'll find the little cave pretty soon. There he goes, there he goes. He went in the, he's in the cave. Hey homie, what you doing? Do. All right, the crawdad is looking like really hyper and he's just kind of running around in the tank. I think I'm gonna net him up and let him go in the big tank. There he goes. Look at there. Hey, there he is. We, my, my phone keeps running out of storage and it's bothering me. So we got the crawdad, he's messing around on the bottom. He just ate something. Anyway, he's in there. Ringo's right here. The mosquito fish are all up top. Anyway, everybody looks happy. So I'll come back later and I'll give you all an update on what's going on. All right, y'all, all my little crawdad's in here. He's looking happy. Found him a little hole he's sitting down there in. Um, I don't really know what this crawdad eats. If you look closely, he's just going around and picking up pieces of food and of fish food and stuff like that. I'm like cleaning off the rocks. But uh, I have some catfish bait right here. Well, it's, it's green sunfish cut bait. So I'm gonna thaw this out. So green sunfish are invasive and we caught a bunch out of the pond. So I made catfish cut bait. There it is. Check this out. Look in that little uh, house thing. I guess he has staked out his territory. <laughs> the blue doesn't know what to think. <laughs> he's kind of, he's in the like attack position. <laughs> He's got a piece of gravel and he's like cleaning it off and eating it. Hey 
Hey y'all, what's up? So it's one day later after I got the uh, the, pet, the crawfish. Here he is in the tank. Let's turn the light on. You can tell he's out picking up food. He has just been in this log, usually. There's Ringo and the other guys. I fed this morning, so he's probably cleaned up all the stuff, like off the gravel. And um, yesterday I fed him piece of fish and he ate it so I'm gonna get him another piece of fish all right sweet what we eat the mosquito fish is hiding back here under the filter All right, anyway, I'm gonna get another piece of fish and we'll feed him. Okay, so I gave it to him, but it, yeah, I wanted him to take it off the end of the tweezer, but he didn't grab it and the current moved it away. It's right there, he's right there. And, and the mosquito fish, so he probably ate whatever they didn't eat. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for watching. I'm gonna keep y'all posted with little updates of how our crawdad's going, and uh, I really appreciate it. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I'll see y'all in a little bit.